and Kome playing a character that's all about switching modes. So yeah. that was uh, the theme of the competitive exactly. last year as well, yeah. <laughs> so Kome is back in action with the Shulks to see what he can do with this character. It'll you know? be a very interesting thing. I haven't seen him in the States at all, as far to my knowledge. Uh -huh. So, yeah, this will be a very interesting one to see. Yeah, of course, you know, Mars being one of the top competitors of this game. So I'm curious to see what he's going to be able to pull out against Kome. Kome, Shulks, uh, in general, are very good about switching their Monados and their Monado management. So let's see how Mars is going to do that. Because as far as I know, or as far as I've seen, I haven't really seen Mars play against a uh, top tier Shulk. Yeah. We're gonna have to see how that goes down. I don't I don't remember if he's played Nico at least once in like an MSM that he was at like visiting, but I can't recall off the top of my head. It's gonna be an interesting one, especially because ZSS, especially in the air and even on the ground, she's got relatively fast frame data. So mm -hmm. she can't outbox if they make the decisions at the same time. However if Kome and I've seen Nico do this too. If they preemptively decide to make a decision on spacing, then usually they can keep out the ZSS for a relatively longer amount of time. So. That's true. Those aerials are huge, and we're going to see if those come into play here against Mars. Of course, we have Mars versus PG or Kome. <laughs> and yeah. uh, I really want to see how Kome is going to abuse Speed Mono if he does choose to use it mm -hmm. uh, to really stay in Zero Suit's face. Because usually in the in a matchup that we see Zero Suit Samus, she's typically the aggressor. Yes. So is Kome going to play more of a defensive option with uh, with like Jumpinato and like trying to land on Zero Suit? Or is he going to go with Speed Monado and try to overwhelm Mars? Well, let's find out. Game 1, Pokemon Stadium 2, Kome versus Mars. Yeah, you can see already Mars trying to just go in on the aggression, throwing out those aerials as soon as possible to see if he can catch Kome on the startup of all of his uh, spacing out aerials. Yeah, just playing out the news right now, the air to air. Ooh, that boxing scenario, but okay, right, Mars is gonna get the first interaction there after a couple of hits from Kome. Trying to push something there, but the jab one not quite gonna connect. Oh yeah, meets him in the air. Yeah, okay. that was a very nice grab actually. Called him out immediately on shield on the call out. Yeah, you'll see that Mars will want to space immediately right outside whatever Kome may decide to do. He'll just stand there and then wait for Kome's option first, rather than trying to um, prevent the option from coming together overall. Very good at waiting and looking for a reset to advance into the situation he's in. I think Komi's showing a little bit of, a little too many of his cards right to the start because as soon as, he could, as soon as Mars got a parry and just jabbed him right out of it, Komi immediately switched the shield. So you can see that he's really worried about just what the conversions that Mars are going to get. Yeah, okay, here we go, speed train. Gonna run out, but he's got the buster. That was unfortunate, the back air just clipping right over ZSS's head, not quite gonna be able to get that full damage there. I mean, that's just the the uh, variable they have to take into account. The animation uh, changed when it comes to the hurt box, but that up tilt is going to take in smash mode, taking a stock. Yeah, that's unfortunate, but you know, just a great call out. ZSS's like to rise with aerials, or rise and then land with aerials, excuse me. So you can catch him on the rise of their jump animation with an anti-air like that, especially one as big as Shulk's up tilt. Mm -hmm. But Buster Mode is online. As you can see, the back end of a couple uh, Nairs is gonna put 42% onto Mars. And Com uh, Mars actually like staying back, playing a more range type of uh, aggression, mm -hmm. using the Zairs, using the Paralyzer. Yeah. Now that we have jump mode, like Mars is looking to <laughs> To really try and find, try and find his uh, his kill conversion. Yeah. Ooh, interesting boost kick. That's gonna cost Mars a little bit of damage. Loses his positioning too. The Nair beats out the laser. Ah oh, man, and Mars is just a little bit scared. I think he's just worried because of the potential options that Kome has in a retaliation. So he doesn't want to whiff a grab or anything like that because it could spell death. Oh, well, speaking of spelling death, he directional air dodge, and that's gonna put him in a horrible situation. As you can see, Kome able to capitalize off that ledge, that roll from ledge. Yeah. I mean, Kome right now starting off very strong. Mars is just not quite finding what he's trying to do. I think Kome's defense is really impeccable right now. He's not picking any panic options. You can tell Mars is trying to elicit reactions out of him, but usually Kome's content to stay in shield and wait for a different uh, moment or opportunity to try and get out of his situation. Okay, good backslash, and that's going to catch the ledge and allowing Kome to just reset. But at the same time, this is game one of top 48 winners, which is going to be a best of five. So this game could be specifically meant just for data. And Kome, or Mars is just trying to get the read on like what type of options that Kome is trying to pick. Mm -hmm. I mean, that is what we could be seeing right here. Which okay. is why like, we're kind of seeing like this more uh, defensive play style coming from Mars. Yeah. Ooh, that sucks. <laughs> jab, jab one, two, three didn't even connect all the way. Hey, Buster Mode online. Wow, that back did so much damage. 
Buster is such a good tool, but now Shield and immediately switching back to speed. That's going to be two Monados that are on cooldown. And you can see if Mars is able to take uh, take control of this, but speed right. just may be too much for Mars to deal with. All right, jump through. Ooh, okay. Not quite going to be able to finish it off, but he's still got the ledge control and smash art with the forward air. That'll do it. I like what he did. He did empty hops with the jump art to make Mars think that he was safe and that he was going to try to pick a ledge option. But in the very last moment, moment, he went in for an edge guard instead. He very even spaced play. that forward air perfectly so that the tip of the sword was going to cast the ledge. Yeah. So it almost looked deceptive, like how far back he was. But if you know the ranges of Shulk, you would know that you're still in the danger zone. Yeah. Coleman hey. with a pretty convincing two stock on that first game, actually. So let's see if Mars, like you said, is just trying to collect the data, see how he can re elicit reactions or what his best options are going to be. Because, yeah, he was he was kind of just waiting for something to happen from Komei, but Komei wasn't giving it to him. So <laughs> will, he, will he push even further now instead? Well, one can only hope. Let's see. It looks like Mars is calling for a judge as far as what stages are legal as far as DSR. So remember, we, do are, we are using the new stage list for SoCal rule set which has six stages, five starters, one counter pick being Carlos, and no DSR. Mm -hmm. And you get two bands. And two bands, yeah. yeah. Love two bands. Yes, very <laughs> nice. Yeah, the, the starters are pretty typical. Uh, you know, Battlefield, FD, uh, both animal, like yeah, animal Crossings and Pokemon Stadium. I feel like as far as starters goes, everybody's um, on the same page as far as like what is allowed and what isn't. It's really the counter picks. Uh, that, you know, where we're seeing a little bit of variation. Yeah, definitely. Some people are kind of like FD counterpick, but, you know, we'll have to see how the meta shows. FD like, counterpick? Yeah. That's it, weird. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's just because of, like, how neutral exchanges work in this game. Like, FD is actually really polarizing depending on what type of character you use. I guess. Because like, FD is really good. Sense. FD is really good for certain heavies, like Bowser, for example. But moving on to the next match, we're, still, we're sticking it to Pokemon Stadium 2. Here we go. Starts off with the speed art. I mean, no surprise for like uh, that's usually that's typical for for most choke names. You know, you try to overwhelm your opponent. Speed makes it a little bit easier to to outrange your opponent as well. Uh huh. But now we see him switching to Buster mode and see if he's able to really attack on any damage or if he's going to be at the you know double-edged sword of Buster. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Okay, forward throw. Doesn't quite get the tech chase scenario yet, but he still had an opportunity to follow up. Not quite. Man, I think he's trying to catch Komei like running up shield or like land aerial shield because he's trying to go for these grabs. Because he was doing that a lot the first game, but Mars not quite uh, catching them and Komei doing a good job of mixing up how he lands as well. Well, Mars taking his time getting back to stage, even stalling a little bit low uh, just to make sure that he avoids that smash, that smash mode down air that Komei was putting out. But air splash comes out and, okay, B getting that punish. I, I like that to turn around B. Let's see. Okay, what's the punish going to be? Goes for a forward throw, no flip kick. Yeah, in shield mode, you really don't want to go too far, but wow, Komei putting a stop to that first stock. Yeah, if you can just hear the gasp in the audience, like, ooh. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't even like an in-game gasp. <laughs> that was like <laughs> our actual audience. <laughs> okay, oh, air slash. Okay. Man, Mars is having a hard time keeping control of the air. That's unfortunate because that's where ZSS really wants to be, controlling the air using her superior movement. But Komei's been doing a good job of keep, keeping up and making sure he catches Mars right where he wants to be after the fact. I mean, in part, that's that's uh, thanks to Speed Monado, maintaining that, that distance that he wants to keep and being so fast in that mode, it's really difficult for Mars to try and contest. Yeah. Good parry. Unfortunately, too much range. So not going to be able to punish too much. There we go. Is air slash out of shield. Okay, dash attack with back hit of the Nair gonna connect, and now we see Buster Mode. Let's see if he's able to rack up more damage, or if Mars is able to abuse the, the Buster Mode against Kome. Doesn't really seem like he's able to, but wow! The raw side B! Yep, that is definitely a kill option nowadays, so at least he was able to find it, but still, 90% onto Mars. So let's see if he can try and bring this back around. But Komei's looking like he's still comfortable with the control he has to pivot for his match. Still not enough to do it across the stage yet. Mm -hmm. And now switching to the kill mode. We have Smash mode online, but Air Splash coming up. Immediately switching to Shield mode. You know, make sure that you're not going to get, you're not susceptible to multiple hits of the up air from Mars. All right, jump heart is available. Gonna try, yeah, he was looking for a fifth flip kick or something. That hit, trying to come back to stage and catch him in the air with it. 
Okay, Sonic Mode online, just running directly into Mars's space and getting a grab. Man, I like really, that. I think he really wanted Jump Art to come back because he like pulled up the wheel twice, hoping that it would come back. But okay, there we go. Yeah, I think you're right. Shot. He wanted, he did want Jump Art, but it seems Smash Mode back online is like, you know what? I'll take it. Yeah. Yes, that's what Mars has been looking for <laughs> this, this entire game so far. Just him standing in shield, being a little bit too pressured. He finally got a grab, but he's got to take the stock. He's got to capitalize as much as he can. That's true. He's getting good damage whenever he does, in fact, open up Kome, but it's not enough to actually finish his plate. That's really what this game is about. You can you can put as much damage as you want on your opponent, but if you're not able to take that stock, guess what? It actually doesn't matter. Wow, really pushing the range of that jump art. I thought he was dead for a second. I thought he may have gone too far. Okay, uh, smash art back Never available. underestimate these modes. <laughs> okay. That is true. I should, I should stop doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Buster coming out. And now we can see it up to, wow, it does so much damage. Buster mode. Oh, it's such a double-edged sword. But as you can see, Kome has actually been able to utilize it very yeah. well. Mm -hmm. I just love how Kome moves depending on which art he has. You saw with Buster art. Okay, that's going to be a kill. Guaranteed, for sure. Um, I like how he did like a little backflip to try and get him to run off the platform and then move down with a nair instead of just trying to constantly hit him. Like, just trying to elicit the movement out of ZSS that ZSS is so known, well, well known for. All right, one more option. Not quite going to be able to find it. Yes. Going to be stuck on the ledge here. Smash mode is online. We're going to see that quick up tilt. The S-Smash comes out. I don't know, that may have been like just too much of a laggy startup for it to actually connect, but now that jump mode's on, he's going to be able to really go off stage and chase Mars as, no matter where he wants to go. Whew. Yeah, he tried to catch the tail end of that end lag. Not quite going to be able to find it, though. Cycling through his modes and not finding the one that he wants yet. Speed mode is online, and now it's time to see if Homey can, in fact, just overwhelm his opponent. Yep, that's it. Okay, going to be able to get that back here. All right, this is a three out of five, though, so. Okay, so one thing I got to note, one thing I just got to say, I love how Team Japan always supports Team Japan. As you can see, like, you can't really see it right now, but Team Japan is actually, like, in the crowd supporting their boy, Kome. Oh, there they are. Yeah. They're, yeah. they're <laughs> popping off. They <laughs> pop off every single time Kome gets a hit. Hey, man, if you travel, like, I, I don't even know how many They miles are it definitely is. the visiting team. Yeah. <laughs> if you travel, like, 1,800 plus miles to, to a Smash tournament, you better be cheering each other on. That's, that's all I have to say. Like, <laughs> here we go. Game three. Mars, number three on the PGR, looking a little rusty right now. He's got to really dig deep and find something because Kome has been mopping the floor with him so far. He's gotten good conversions, but I feel like Kome is mostly determining the pace of the match rather than Mars. Okay, forward throw. And you can see that bust mode coming out. In the previous games, we've seen Kome make great use of this buster mode. And as you can see right here, he's still continuing that trend. Yeah, this is, I mean, Man, Mars is really having a hard time just trying to catch him. Okay, the intangibility gets through that forward air. Then oh, and going so low, that's so smart, Mars! Wow, and he saved his jump that whole time, too. Okay, you know, showing really why he's number three on the PGR. If he's been able to make plays like that at, at, at a whim? Uh-huh. He's definitely got to make sure that he keeps playing those guys. He's been playing extremely safe the first two games. I think now he's starting to realize, okay, maybe I got to start making a play make something big happen here. That's right. Don't go for the standard stuff. Let's catch our opponent off guard and just go as deep as possible. Taking that first stock from Kome. Now it's time once again. But Shield Mode coming out is going to stop that. Any momentum that Mars had. Okay. There we go. This man, fade back fair with Shulk. Smash art. Such a great tool. It's so difficult. ZS has so many tools to make it back to center stage, but Kome is definitely doing a good job of calling them out. That's right. Uh, let's see, we have Buster Mode online, but I think we're just going to let it run out. Mars is able to utilize it against Kome, uh, just tacking on a little bit of damage, but not not really able to follow up after the forward throw. Mm -hmm. No tech chases from either player. Oh, yeah, Kome was trying to find something, but he's still able to continue on, just taking him coast to coast right now. Okay, back to Buster Mode. Let's see what who's really going to be taking the big damage here. Air Slash out of shield, but no punish from Mars. Paralyzer gets parried. Yeah, he really tried to call out a jump there. He got two hits with Buster, Buster Mode. That's pretty much a, a victory in my book. Okay, Smash Mode is out with 89%. That should put Mars in the danger zone. And switch, immediately switching back to the two-speed mode. Seeing if Man. Kome can overwhelm his opponent. Oh, got the back hit in there. Man, that was he was zipping and zopping throughout the entire stage. Okay, there we go. The up there closes out the stop. 
a short hop up there. That he was that's supposed to have like reduced damage. Yeah, but uh, yeah, he still got the he still got the kill off of it. Very nice stuff. Okay, dash back is gonna avoid that grab, and now Buster Mode is wearing off the down tilt just to make sure that Kome takes a little bit more damage. Speed coming out again. A couple of nairs are whiffing, but a nair from Kome lands. Oh, the nair not quite connecting that time around. Mars is able to get out of that situation. He's Very got control at the ledge? No, not quite. Switching to shield mode in case Mars does in fact go play that ag aggressive style off stage again. Ooh, reaching with that side beat. The dash tag does connect. Ooh. Okay, there we go. Speed art comes in. Man, Mars, uh, he's having a little bit of a hard time trying to seal out this stock. Can be unfortunate. The speed or the smash art is up. He's trying to catch a jump, not quite. Yeah, Mars was able to get a very clean stock in the early game, but as you can see, Komei has been able to take the lead. And with shield mode, Mars is not going to be able to take a stock. But with Buster Mode, that up smash, that is going to even up the stock 73%. You know shield mode is still going to be a threat. And after losing a stock, all his modes are reset. All right. Three up matches in a row. He thought that he could kind of cheat his way through the shield art, I think. Not quite, though. I mean, he was able to do it a little bit. He tack on a little Ooh. bit extra damage along the way, too. But yeah. jump mode is out. Did you see that? He was getting hit by up smash, and I think he switched to smash art, so he popped up higher, so he wouldn't get followed up by another up air. That was really Very smart for Komei, actually, yeah. It's like more knockback so that um, you get out of a combo situation as well, since shield art was already used up. It's almost like nice. the exact opposite of what he was going for with shield mode. Yeah, exactly. Okay, but shield mode is back. Woo! That was 60, really risky. 67%. And Mars has yet to get hit. Yeah, he's really trying to find it. Okay, caught, caught on the short hop. Oh, that might have been it, but not quite enough damage yet. Okay, down airing at the ledge, but is that going to be enough mash? We see the sparks, but is that it? Mars able to take game three. Wow, that was really clutch from Mars, actually. It looked like he might have been down and out, but was able to close it out with... Um, with a downbeat recovery from the stage. There's so many times where he's, like, it's so difficult in that kind of situation. It's like, dang, I don't want to give him stage control for free or, like, right. back to the stage. Right. But at the same time, it's like, damn, I don't want to die <laughs> for free either, <laughs> you know? <laughs> but just think about how un unorthodox Marks had to play just to make that win happen. He had to play off stage for so long, continuing to challenge Komei's recovery, and then on stage, trying to, trying to abuse shield mode in his favor. Yep. Like, it's it's just so much high-level thinking when it comes to this one specific match. All righty, here we go. Game four. All right, so seeing a bit of a, a change of scenery as we're on Town and City. A little bit of a stutter start. Both of these two not really trying to go in on each other. Komei just kind of waiting to see. Mars waiting to see. So I think either uh, both players are kind of respecting each other's options here. They're kind of starting to realize, okay, I think we're starting to figure each other out more. We got to change our game plan. So we're going to wait a little bit to see. Well, Mars definitely made an adjustment in terms of uh, how he was approaching uh, Komei. Uh, but let's see if Komei is able to make that same adjustment. You see double nair, forward, forward air nair into down air. Uh, not able to get the sweet spot. Very unfortunate for Komei because that you know that's exactly what he was looking for. Now that we have Buster Mode online, that Epsil is going to do a ton of damage. Woo! That was a lot of damage right there. Mm. Air Slash out of shield. Very smart from Komei. That's going to take the first stock without taking very much damage himself. And maybe oh. that slowdown was exactly what he needed. It feels mm -hmm. like that actually threw off Mars quite a bit. Yep. All right, now he, now he had the speed art. He was starting to go in a little bit. Okay, gets a grab. No tech chase scenario. Not getting able to follow with the nair. Great parry, but still not en not enough range to be able to actually respond with something. Ooh, throwing out smash mode in a very awkward situation. It may have been the, similar to that up smash situation where he was just like trying to make sure he doesn't get changed, but at the same time that almost killed him. Right. All right, Buster Mode is gone, or is out. Oh, Nair, up, up air. Up air, yeah. Man, he, he's really good at landing those. Like, more so than uh, Nico, I think, just like by watching the two of them play. He really likes to offer that option. Yeah, just falling up air. I mean, this is like an option that we don't really see too often anymore in this game. But in the previous iteration, we saw it all the time. Yeah. But the fact that it still works and in shield, or in uh, Buster Mode does a ton of damage, 
that's going to be a great option that Komei's going to definitely keep in his pocket. Oh man, even on Town City, that up tilt almost did it. The Nair also almost doing it. Find the corner, DI. And of course, Mars is going to take his time getting back to stage, making sure that that smash mode runs out. Yeah. So he doesn't have to deal with it now that it is, in fact, on cooldown. It's going to be the opportunity that Mars is looking for. But up tilt is going to wait from both players. Not quite able to come back yet. But there we go, gets a fair. And that forward air with speed mode actually covered like three different options. Yeah. Because he, he did like short hop forward air, which covered the jump option, roll option, and the neutral get up. Right. Okay, the jab comes in. Ooh, okay. Nice kick flip. Yeah, that was good, yeah. Nice kick flip. <laughs> it, it looked like he went down to try and elicit a ledge trump reaction, and then uh, he decided to go back up with the kick flip. That was very nice. Okay, up smash connects, but immediately going into shield mode. Let's forget uh, whatever kind of conversion you're going for, Mars. Uh, yeah, let's just stop that. Yeah, you gotta look for a custom combo or something instead. Not quite finding anything yet. Definitely gonna have to work on the fly if you want to combo this character. All right, beat him on the air-to-air -air tech chase scenario. Oh, I'll try to catch him on a jump or something. Not okay. quite. Scooped him up. Let's toss him off stage. And now the speed mode is on his way out. Immediately switching to shield mode. Very smart. Use of modes, but another oh. shield mode? Uh, it ran out, but not quite enough yet. Yeah, and all, he's, as soon as Komei has a positioning again, he just goes back on the offensive. So good at switching when he needs to be defensive and offensive. But Mars gonna get something right here. He gets the up there off the top. And a celebratory up smash as he charged that. And now we see speed modes on deck. Okay, shield mode. I wonder what he's expecting from Mars after the uh, up smash at low percent. What's right. he expecting like up airs because Ome immediately switches to shield mode. Yeah. Ooh, the back air beats him out. Oh, he tried to jump right into him. Okay, directional air dodge back to stage. And thanks to the extra drift from shield mode. Oh, is he going to the other side of stage? Okay, down air does not catch. Yeah, that was a little bit scary. Oh, I thought that was a jab lock for a second. Not quite though, too much knockback. What was that? Komei is just like staying a little bit back, but using the Paralyzer to, to Mars' advantage and getting a couple jabs on well, grabbing There's right grab. out of that. Oh! That was a great play, actually. That was an amazing play. You could see Mars going off stage, getting the kick left, going for like a similar situation. Oh my and God. we have the Shulks <laughs> popping off for their boy Komei. They are very excited about that one, man. Taking on number three on the PGR, man. I know numbers aren't everything, but still, that's still a feat that's quite hard to, to accomplish. So Yo, as, as nice a stuff. man of numbers,